Hi there, sports fans. This is Paid Right TV, and I'm Kinito Hansen. We're here on location, Nagoya, Japan, and the De La Salle University men's basketball team has just finished a four game swing over two days last weekend. And we're here to talk to the chief organizer of this tour, Mr. Jerry Fernando. We're also here to talk to uh, our coach, the Green Archers coach, Derek Marin. We'll also try to pull in some of our players so they get to share kung ano po nangyari dito sa Nagoya, yung mga experiences nila playing against three B-League D3 teams and one university team. So, we also have, by the way, some exclusive footage of some of the games played by De La Salle so that you can see how the team is preparing for the UAP conference, UAP season starting October 1st. Okay, let's get the show on the road. We'll talk basketball right now. Here we are in Nagoya with uh, Green Archers head coach Derek Pomarin and coach Derek, grueling grind. Four games, two days, <laughs> and we played against uh, three B League Division Three teams loaded with imports. How do you think the team responded to this challenge? Well, I think we were able to attain what we wanted here. Uh, we were able to to really train hard and really prepare and be a better team when we get to the AP. And uh, secondly, I think we were able to bond the chemistry is there now. And uh, I think we'll be ready by the AP. Tell us about uh, the games uh, that uh, were played here. First, that university team, the Nagoya uh, Gakuin team, they went up by 19. And then that was in the, in the second period. And then in the fourth period, La Salle went up by six. La Salle had a chance to win it with 2.4 seconds to go. What about that kind of game? Uh, you gave a lot of opportunities for your bench players mm. to show what they could do. Well, as I've said, we're here to, to get better. So I've given enough exposure to the other guys. Uh, not really try to go for the win now but uh not, not just i'm bragging but because i just want to give everybody exposure to get the experience that's why we're here that's why uh you can see that in the last uh, three four minutes it's mostly the second group the third group playing already and uh, that's what i wanted i want to give those guys more exposure so come UAP because in the, in the end when you play in the uap we will be needing these guys now, coach derek in the last game of la salle against Virgen. La Salle got off to an 8-0 start and it looked like you wanted to win that game. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> definitely because uh, I don't want to leave here without, without a win. So probably if you guys noticed that uh, I had a shorter rotation when we played uh, in the last game because I was going for the win this time. Uh, tell us uh, of the players who saw action here in uh, Nagoya. Who were the ones who showed marked improvement? and guys who sort of prove themselves that they belong to this team of course the the the, the starters no? but uh, you know raven has showed that uh, he's uh, worth being here you know and uh, he'll be able to be a good uh, backup support for our, our big man um bright has uh, improved he's a different bright compared to the bubble and uh, our guards now like evan and uh, mark Max is more in control right now. The Bayern is saying, go, 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 that day. And uh, Evan is uh, really playing within the system, uh, running what I want him to run, you know. There's all the things I want him to do, you know, is play the way we should play and do what they're supposed to do. And, and that's what they did today. Coach Derek, uh, last season in the UAAP, La Salle was 50 seconds short of making it to the final. Closing out games was a struggle for the archers. What do you think the team learned in terms of making sure that when tough games come in the UAP, the archers will be ready. Well, I think the the the, the, the most important thing is we join two preseason games, and uh, that has, uh, that is the the I would say the the mental aspect, no? That we have to close out games. Just like when we played in the D League for the championship game, and we have to learn how to close out games, and we won the games. No? Games that we should. Uh, play like against uh, St. Clair and uh, we have to knock them out and uh, we close it out and uh, I keep reminding them that the, the UP game is still in my mind that we're like 30, 32 seconds away so we've got to get used to that so when we get in that same situation 
when we play in the UAP, we will know how to react and we will know how to close out games. And you know, the experience we've gotten in the preseason, the experience we've gotten here, I think uh, we'll be able to handle it when we come in the UAP. Coach Derek, maybe you can invite uh, our viewers, our followers, to not just uh, follow La Salle in the coming UAP season, but to follow all the teams because this is for fellowship, this is for camaraderie. We know there's competition, but we're all doing this together because we love the game. Well, uh, for all basketball fanatics right there, uh, UAP is just around the corner. Uh, hopefully, hopefully that you'll, you'll support the UAP and watch UAP. It's going to be an exciting season uh, on October 1. It will start October 1 and hopefully, the, as I've said, Keep praying and supporting for the UAP. Thank you. Expectations that the fans should have on La Salle. Well, we'll still be there. Uh, of course, we don't want to be just a number three team. Uh, we want to have a better showing this time because of the preparation that we have. Uh, I expect a, a higher, you know, a higher uh, position for for us at this coming season. Thank you very much. That's Coach Derek Pumaran. Thank you. And now we've got three archers with us. We're checking in here at the airport. We've got Waki Manuel, Maitokayo, Evan Nelly, and then Deshaun Winston. Tell us, guys, how did you enjoy this trip? Did you learn anything at all from the games that you played? You played four games, one one, but one was a closer. Waki Manuel, tell us. It's really interesting playing with uh, the Japanese teams, the different learning experience, especially the physicality, the way their system works, and it's definitely an eye-opener eye coming into this season, so it's, it's an enjoyment that we, that we had this experience. And I'm I'm eh. <laughs> yung point guard, eh. but it was a good competition. Uh, we had a really good bonding experience here in Japan, and um, I think this really helped us bond and um, uh, train, train or like uh, get to like know each other's like weaknesses a little bit more. So coming to the season a few weeks from now, I think we're ready. Mishan? Um It was definitely a great experience uh, being able to play um, against Japanese teams because they play a different style of basketball. So it was a cool experience and uh, comparing the two of Japanese and Philippine style of basketball was a great learning experience. Four games in two days. Evan, that's a grueling grind. How were you able to cope? Um, I got tired. All the point guards <laughs> were like, they kept running. Even off ball, they just kept running. But um, it's a sacrifice. It's, uh, it's our job. Uh, and we want, we want to win the championship. So whatever it takes. Waki, pagkatapos ng uh, mga laro natin uh, dito sa Nagoya, you guys uh, took off for, on a free day. You guys took a bullet train. Some guys went to Tokyo, some guys went to Osaka. Tell us about that experience. Yeah, it's definitely for bonding. Talaga. I mean, we want to get to know each other more. And the chemistry is the there now, uh, especially after this trip. It's really just a fun experience for us, especially not free day. Go to Osaka, eat with the team, and enjoy it. Yeah. Okay, and Deshaun, you went over to Tokyo. How was that experience? First, the bullet train ride. Second, getting to Tokyo, which is really quite a different atmosphere from Nagoya. Mm -hmm. It was uh, it was definitely a different atmosphere. Um, it was more city-like and more modern and a lot of lights and big, big skyscrapers. So it was my first time being there. So I really just enjoyed the experience and took it all in. Okay, thanks guys. Thank you. Thank you Green Archers in Nagoya. Thank you. Thanks guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And here to talk about their Nagoya experience. First of all, Ben Phillips, Bright Duanco, and Michael Phillips Hello. of the De La Salle Green Archers. Okay, guys, um, tough grind. You went up against imports, four games, mm -hmm. two days, <laughs> but it was quite a bonding experience for all of you. Yes. I'm sure you guys learned a lot. Mm -hmm. First question, right. You went up against some really, really tall dudes in yep. this tournament. Tell us, how did you find uh, going up against those guys? Uh, honestly, at first it was kind of intimidating because I was looking at them way up there. I haven't <laughs> looked at people that much that high. <laughs> but one thing I did learn for sure is that 
at the end of the day, it's all about the heart you're using to play with because uh, Coach Noy told me, don't look at your height, don't look at your size, just think about your own heart and play with it. And I did that, and I think I learned from that. Coming in the UAP, I'm going to use that throughout. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm going to do. I don't really... I won't really think much about the people I'm playing and playing against with. I just want to help us out win mm -hmm. and bring the trophy back home to Taft. Well, Ben, um, you also went up against some very tough opposition. Mm -hmm. You were tasked to defend against the top shooters of the other, of the other side. Wow. So that had to be quite a challenge. Mm -hmm. But um, Ben, you also had your, your share of offensive contributions. You've sharpened up on your three-point shooting. You're under the boards for those follow-ups and the offensive rebounds. Tell us about what you've learned in Nagoya. Yeah, so for me, it really was uh, focusing on how I can help this team uh, more than just some of my vocal presence from last season. Uh, I really want to help on our defense with Coach Derek's defense, but making sure that I can you know, help out with some of the points, run our offense all the way through, and, and really focus on um, the kickout shots that, that are there on, on the four-man spot, which is me. So knocking down those open threes and really contributing uh, to the rest of the team takes the load off of some of our other guys so they can also focus and play defense as well. So any contribution, I'm just happy to, to sharpen it up and, and help the team win. Ben, of those four games that LaSalle played, which was the toughest team? Um, probably the last team that we actually won against because uh, their their imports, uh, I actually knew some of them from, from the States. Uh, and so knowing their, their game and how physical they were, even from the, the four-man spot, uh, they were really, really strong. And uh, I was glad that we were able to pull out that win. Great team experience, great team bonding for us. Okay, Michael. Pag-usapan naman natin kung anong natutunan mo dito. Uh, I know that you like to talk in uh, Tagalog. Opa. So, bigyan mo naman kami ng sample. Opa. Kung ano yung mga uh, na, natutunan mo dito sa Nagoya. Opa. So, yeah, opo. Like yung sinabi nyo po, marami, marami kami matutunan sa Nagoya. Uh, the first, unang-una, was really just uh, may tiwala sa isa't isa. Hindi naman na kanya-kanya, uh, you know, playing. And so, playing team, you really saw sa last game natin, you know, really just how we move the ball and how we really trust each other and really, you know, play with the heart. That's really what we can really carry over say UAP. And so, um, especially you know, quickness, you know, Ben, you mentioned you uh, I mean, the, I mean, the, I mean like, Nagoya, even the university teams are moving it. I mean, maganda talaga yung galaw ng mga Japanese teams. So that's something that we can really use for you mga small teams like FEU, USD, who really have talented guards and mabilis talaga ang galaw nila. Michael, meron bang mga lumapit sa'yo dito to try to recruit you to play in the Japanese B-League? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, more, I would say more and more friendship. I know we, we met with the mga students of Nagoya and they gave us, we had a real uh, shirt exchange. Yeah. And so I think just, just the kindness that they showed us was really, really inspiring. And so, but I'm um, for La Salle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, two Asian imports who play in the B-League, Terry Ravenna and Bobby Ray Parks, took time out to see some of you guys and yeah. see some of the coaches. Mm -hmm. Who were the guys whom you met? Uh, did you meet 30 or Bobby? I met, uh, I met yeah. 30. Okay. Yeah, and he was nice. He came out, he took time, he actually took time to meet us mm -hmm. outside the court. Uh, and in the evening too, we all had like a dinner together with him and stuff like that, so yeah. Uh, ben, um, uh, for, okay. me, for me, I was able to meet uh, Bobby Ray Parks uh, actually before Salmonella decided in Taifun. Uh, and so I knew that he was here in Nagoya. So we spoke a little bit and then also 30 Ravenna. Uh, really nice to meet him as well. Really nice to see our Filipinos represented. And what did they share in terms of their experiences in Japan? Uh, just, you know, making sure that you, you really put God first. You really understand where you're at and, and making sure this is just a stepping stone in, in your career to really help Philippine basketball flourish. So no matter where you're at, representing that, that pride, that puso, that's what you can carry no matter what country you're playing at. Michael, yung pagkain na kinain nyo dito sa Nagoya. <laughs> okay. Pag-usapan naman natin yung pagkain. Okay. 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 Sarap, lalo na yung ano, sushi at ichiran. Marami okay. kahit yung pagkain dito sa airport, napakasarap. Ano, gutom ba? Pero, opa, yes. Masarap. Okay, some of you guys went to Osaka. Some of you guys went to Tokyo. Nag-bullet hmm. train kayo. You had a free day, finally. <laughs> the day before leaving. Um, how did you spend that free day, Michael? 
Yeah, I would say we spent it together as a team. You know, we, we were able to group up and some people went to Nagoya and Osaka, but you know, we uh, and daming food chips. That you not in Asa from this Sabule train, Maganda. Something that we really, you know, cherish as a team. It really helped build our chemistry. And so, all, you know, coming to another country, pero surprise, surprise to me, but I mean, that's really something that will help carry us over. Right. Uh, on your free day, yeah, there was a warning that a super typhoon was going to hit Japan. <laughs> How did that feel in the bullet train? <laughs> uh, actually, going, we didn't really uh, witness anything. The going was smooth. It was a coming back that was, damn, because the typhoon hit already. <laughs> and there was practically no train. We, we, we were so lucky to get yeah, a last train. Yeah. But we had to stop at every bus station coming back to Nagoya. Yeah. And that was, it took us practically the same amount of time to take the normal train to get from uh, Tokyo to Nagoya because Everybody had to get down on the train, so yeah. we had to stop at every interval. It was quite an experience though, both going and coming and going around Tokyo. It was really fun. I was happy to spend it with these guys and <laughs> Sean. And oh, uh, actually, coming to the Philippines, it's always been these guys and the Sean, so I'm really glad I had a family here. Yeah. Then uh, this experience that you had bonding with these guys, mm -hmm. with these jokers, <laughs> 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 and playing against. Uh, these uh, these tough teams. How do you think this will prepare you and the team for the UAP season coming up? Um, for us, the last season there was a uh, major team chemistry, but it wasn't all the way there like it is now. So now that we've had us, uh, you know, but I'm in off season tournaments to really prepare and learn each other on and off the court. Uh, even when we went to uh, Tokyo, uh, Madaming and no. Uh, uh, anime lovers and, and manga lovers, so we were able to see a lot of that culture. So just things like that that you can build off the court can really help when you're when you're in the court, passing, blocking, things like that. All the small things. Uh, we're really excited for this upcoming UAP. Well, here's your chance, guys, uh, to invite your followers, our viewers, LaSalle fans, UAP fans, basketball fans, to watch LaSalle, watch all the games of the UAP. Right? Can you invite them? Uh, to everybody out there, all the Lasallian fans, all the UAP community, all the basketball lovers all over the world, do watch us coming season 85 in UAP starting October 1st. And I promise you, it will be an eventful moment, something you won't forget. <laughs> ben? Uh, hello, Okobo C. Ben Phillips from the Dallas Green Archers. So, Brung, excited to the go for the upcoming uh, UAP season. Please join and support and watch Animo Lasal. And Michael? Hello, hello, the silent community. Konnichiwa, minasan. Wow. Uh, I'm see Michael Phillips with the Dallas Island Green Archers. I would like to invite you to watch us compete and, and, and play hard for the green and white. We hope to bring the trophy back to Taft, but most importantly, we'd like to give everyone a great time and just show our hearts out for you guys. So see you on October 1st. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank, thank, you, you, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Animal. Animal, Animal. <laughs> Ngayon naman po kasama natin si Mr. Jerry Fernando. Siya po yung chief organizer ng De La Salle Tour in Nagoya, Japan. And uh, Jerry, we know that you've lived in Japan for like 30 years and you have a heart for basketball. Tell yes, us sir. how difficult it was to organize this tour for La Salle because of the time constraints. Okay, uh, actually, uh, head coach uh, Kumare gave me only like uh, three weeks to prepare for this trip and the first training so uh, it's quite hard but uh, since uh, we made it over in Nagoya uh, I got lots of contact persons and sources in Nagoya compared to Tokyo and Osaka plus uh, all the schedules in Tokyo already is full most of the teams already have their uh, full games training and then in Osaka too so uh, the best way is to uh, put the uh, training camp over here in Nagoya and then, uh, thank God we made it, you know. Uh, it's quite difficult for the visas too, but uh, God help us to make this trip, you know. 
Well, Jerry, let's talk yes. about the games. Uh, patang nila ro ng lasal dito. First game was against uh, the Nagoya University team, yes, sir. and uh, Lasal lost that one by just one point, two point four seconds to go. Lasal had a chance to win it, but uh, missed a side jumper. Then the second game was against Toyoda. That's a B League Division Three team, yes. and came with uh, imports, uh, really tough imports, including a seven footer, si Joe uh, uh, Wolfinger, and then. Well, that game Lasal lost by 11. The second, uh, the third game yes. was against Gifu yes. Swoops. Yes. Again with uh, terrific imports, Lasal lost by 18. But the last game against Vierkian, another yes. B League D3 team, Lasal won by four points. Can you give us an assessment of how Lasal performed and how Lasal improved as the games went on? Okay, uh, when I saw all the games, you know, uh, when the Lasal played with the university. Uh, the first three quarters or the two quarters, you know, uh, speed is the uh, main issue, you know, mm -hmm. because uh, university players of Asian Japan play uh, by speed, mm -hmm. especially the guards, you know, they play, uh, they don't have enough sizes, but they have speed, you know, and then on regarding about the B League teams that we played, uh, physicality, you know. But uh, most of the teams have uh, uh, commented, you know, uh, they were impressed with the De La Salle because they could cope up with the physicalities, you know, because you played with a pro team. So that's very different, you know, but uh, they're impressed with the physicalities that they could cope up and then on the speed too. What yeah. about some of the La Salle players whom you were most impressed with? Uh, number 25 was Michael Phillips, who was really impressive, you know, both ends of the floor, you know, he plays solid B, uh, great rebounder, hustle plays, and then re he really helped the team a lot. And then on the offensive side, this was uh, Winston, number mm -hmm. seven, you know. I mean, when he tucked the uh, basket, you know, he saw unstoppable. But they are great, some great players, you know. Uh, most of the Japanese uh, players, too, when I interviewed with them, they were impressed with notable players, you know. Uh, they tell me that, you know, uh, Philippine basketball is a different level, you know. That's why they were praying. You talked about the physicality of the seasoned pros whom LaSalle played here. Yes. Uh, there was Jarrell Wright, a 6'8 sure. guy. There was Kolo, a big German, That's who true. was also 6'8. And then uh, yeah. we had a Lithuanian yes. uh, import. And uh, of course, the last game, they played three imports at a time, including one naturalized. But uh, how do you think uh, all of these uh, games help to improve and prepare LaSalle for the coming UAP season? Okay, uh, it will help a lot, you know. Uh, actually, it's not really easy because uh, there were three imports on the court at the same time. So uh, it's like you're playing uh, a PBA player with a PBA team with three imports on the floor. <laughs> so it's right, quite difficult, you know. But I was impressed with LaSalle. They cope up on, you know, on every uh, place, you know. So it's, it was really impressive, you know. And then uh, they're gonna learn a lot, especially uh, those those imports are, you know, just not ordinary imports. You know? They play around all the world, you know, the journeymen, you know. They got lots of experiences, you know. And then uh, they're gonna learn uh, uh, from the place that they play that, and then some of the physicalities and the, some of the plays that the other teams uh, showed, you know. For example, uh, when you play against Gifu Swoops, uh, you can, they learned a lot how fast the ball was, you know, rotating, you know, and then they could cope up with some of the plays. So that was the, you know, some of the uh, great plays that they learned about. Yeah. Here you've got a great basketball mind. You're a player yourself. Yes. You uh, manage a team here in the uh, Aichi Prefecture League. Yes, yes. Um, can you tell us uh, what are some of the weaknesses of La Salle and maybe some of the strengths? Okay, uh, on the, uh, I mean, the uh, strong, uh, I mean, a strong point of La Salle, they play defensive, you know, mm -hmm. defense is good, you know, they can, uh, you know, cope up with the, uh, with the defense right away and then the adjustments too. And then uh, on the uh, guards issues, I think uh, that's the, uh, main issue that they have to work on mm -hmm. you know i mean i think they should uh, move the ball around much quicker and faster mm -hmm. you know? 
and then uh, I think everything is okay with the saw you know I mean this is only the training camp for them then they'll be ready for the uh, season I think well Jerry I know you have uh relatives in the Philippines maybe you want to say hi to them and at the same time take this opportunity to invite some of the Philippine teams that might want to come over to Nagoya and okay. play maybe they can contact you help arrange uh, these practice or tune-up games for different uh, Philippine teams Jerry okay. the floor is yours okay uh, marami po salamat and then uh, I would like to thank all the uh, Filipinos you know uh, please come over to Nagoya or here in Japan and if you want to do training or like a special event for basketball, just uh, call me up and then uh, I'll try to help you now. Basta kababayan po natin, tulungan po natin. That's all. Okay. okay. How do Thank we get so in much. touch with you? Uh, maybe I can get the, uh, I'll send my number to the different people around in the Philippines. So, I mean, this is the only third time that I made this event, but uh, it's been successful so far. Yeah. And for all those who want to get in touch with Jerry Fernando, just uh, maybe you can DM me or maybe yes. you can also get in touch with Coach Derek Kumarin, yes, who's been a close friend of Jerry through yes, the years. Yes. And uh, we'll put you in touch with a man here in Nagoya, Jerry Fernando. Okay, thank Thanks you so much. Bye-bye. There you have the folks, the Sal Green Archers, about to leave Nagoya, going back to Manila. What an eventful trip this was. Four games, two days, learning experience, bonding. I thought that this was uh, quite an experience that the De La Salle team will never forget. Moving forward to the UAEP opening on October 1st. And again, don't forget to like and subscribe, play Try TV, and hit that bell button for notifications. Remember, we also have playtright.com, our sister company, and they're going to be offering uh, lots of discounts, reasonable prices for all the sports equipment, all the sports accessories that you will need. Kinito Hansen from Nagoya, Japan. Thanks for watching.